I think we've gone like 30 miles in one direction, the right direction, and it has been cool so far. We have not been disappointed. We're Jim and Vanessa. Thanks for taking the off-ramp to adventure. It's called the 127 yard sale. This is the kind of stuff we were looking for. It stretches 690 miles from Addison, Michigan to Gadsden, Alabama. It is the world's largest yard sale. And yes, it runs right through our home state of Kentucky. We got a lot to see. We've always wanted to see it, or at least a part of it, because we were sure we would find some crazy, rare, and unusual things you wouldn't find in the average yard sale that you find down the street. Looks like you can find everything here, even a kitchen sink. Was the yard sale like one right after another after another, all these hundreds of miles, or were they just kind of clumped together in certain areas throughout the whole route? We just had to know that, and this was our year to find out just what the 127 yard sale was all about. Stop number one. Danville, Kentucky. And it's kind of a zoo. We knew it was gonna be big, but this is the first stop and it's just massive. You're just hoping to find some of the unusual and not the usual stuff you find at yard sales. Like, I don't know, like that. Yeah, you know, that, that's different. Yeah, what? It's extremely what, heavy. What, 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 what is this? Kind of thick, that, that one. It looks like a horn, but it's, wow. It's like, that's a good 50 pounds. <laughs> Looks like Horn evidently the cook is hooked to something that had some kind of air going through it. Thinking it's time to move on maybe. Yeah, this is only one. We this got a lot to see today. Stop number two, 600 miles. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near that. No. But not without lunch anyway. Okay, no luck at stop number one. That's not going to stop us. We're going to find what we're looking for, which is we have no idea. So. stops to be a little closer together right now we've been traveling about 10 miles and haven't seen anything else yet so that's a drop your phone so next stop as soon as we get there we'll let you know it's gonna be a fun one I got a feeling I just got a feeling lo and behold we found out we're going the wrong way some somewhere we missed 127's turn off I thought I was on it I'm on 150, so now we're going back to 127 to get on the right road. And then we shall continue. I have to admit, there were a few yard sales we didn't stop at because they didn't look like they had eclectic kind of stuff we were looking for. So we just kept cruising on down the road and hopefully we didn't miss anything. Our next stop is Junction City. We just pulled in there, so we're hoping for an area where we can actually park it's crazy on this road. When you do come to the places where there's um, people, it's packed. Hang on guys, I think we found a good one. You talked about a one of a kind yard sale. I think we have found the mother load. It's been kind of time trying to find these places, isn't it? <laughs> Getting lost on 127. Well, we're finally on 127, so I think now we'll be okay. Lots of quirks and turns on 127, especially in Danville. So if you're coming this way, just, just know that. You know it's going to be good when you start off with a horse trailer. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this table and this bike. This is the kind of stuff we were looking for. This old Singer sewing machine. No treadle on it. Look at that cord. That cord's at least 70, 80 years old. I just want to peruse this table. Look at this. Old oil can. And whatever that is. I think that's a miter saw, yeah. Pitchforks. Look at these ancient tools. Wow. I got a monkey wrench once for like five bucks. I was in this kind of condition, painted it up, sanded it, still using it today. Hey, hon, 
carousel horse. Can I take him home? I'll feed him. You can buy the seat to a John Deere. Look at that. A John Deere seat. Oh, dear. You knew that was coming. It's got a grasshopper. She's found the birdhouses with grasshopper. It comes on with it. its own grasshopper. It's got a grasshopper on it. There you go, little fellow. We'll leave that you alone. It's too cute. And look at these old benches that you can put your own slats on. Oh my goodness, look at this. I remember the days of metal bed springs. You remember that? Yep. All those things were noisy and not at all comfortable. Great old trunk. This one, you can see the aging with the paper inside. Oh man, what a find. There's nobody here. We can't find anyone even if we wanted to buy something. Oh, look at this. Fireplace covers probably. Vanessa's buying the birdhouse with the grasshopper. She's feeding it. We found Chris. Chris sold us a birdhouse and what do you do? You take down barns? Yeah, we clean up barns. And so you find stuff from the barns and you, you've got this stuff. This is where you get the, all this cool stuff. Right. Yeah, this, it's a lot of old stuff. Seriously, I saw this from the road and I was going, oh, we got to stop. And you've got some stuff and like this locker. That could have to go home with us. Definitely got the birdhouse going home with us. That's going to look great in the backyard. <laughs> so is there a story on the birdhouse? Not that I know of, other than it was just in the barn. Okay. No special story. We'll, we'll have to make up one. Jim didn't think I'd be buying a birdhouse today. Yeah. This has got, this is a great story. It just came out of a barn. Jim probably told you that. I can't wait to get it home and put it in my backyard. The guy, Chris, yeah. that Jim was talking to, said that he's living the dream that we've always wanted to live, which is 180 acres out here. Okay, we'll, we'll take five. We don't need oh, 180. 180. And he's got a tiny house. I'm telling you, what more do you want? Yeah. The trailer, did you see that? Could you see that fixed up, made into a tiny home? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Look at that patina. That, this, this grasshopper, you're feeding it. <laughs> Gotta tie it down. <laughs> I think it's gonna last for the next couple hundred miles we go. I think it's gonna go anywhere. Good All and right. bungee. Can't wait to see what it looks like in the flower garden. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I just knew that if we did it, we we're gonna find some cool stuff. I like that trailer with Chris. That was awesome. If that is just a twinkling of what we're about to see, getting kind of excited. Look at the new Vanessa look. <laughs> it's a little hot out here. We're trying to keep the sun off of us. It's still summer. But man, is it worth being out today. Just walking in the entrance, look at this, right here. <laughs> Cigar store Indian. Look at this old Maytag. Ringer washer. I think they call that a mangle where they put the clothes through. I remember these. And those. She wants those, I can tell. She's thinking, oh, I could paint those. Look at this trike. Good paint job on that would be just like I was four years old again in real time not not mentally like like, like some thing never mind okay when is the song green acres come to mind <laughs> and then for those of you who are really dog lovers i guess that's for sale fire hydrant yeah it's loose you can have your very own fire hydrant for your best friend the the, the dog not not the other one and just kind of a wash in antiques even though these look kind of rough, a little work, a little paint on this one, maybe a little welding, you'd have a great piece of work. So Vanessa saw the cap on the fire hydrant. It I, is. That it, about it caps looks... it off, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you thought the last washer was old? Check this one out. Old metal tub and everything. That is awesome. All it needs is a fan belt. We're good to go. Get all cleaned up for Saturday night. An old bug sprayer. All the time we used these, you had to fill it up back in the old days. And then you pump it out and hopefully you didn't kill yourself in the process. Oil cans love these things. Oh, look at that. These are old. Especially this one. I like it. And for every kid who always wanted to be a fireman, check out this piece of novelty. This is awesome and authentic. This can't be a real phonograph, can it? It is an original phonograph. 
with the megaphone. Look at that. They put the needle on the record and I think they were like all 78 RPM back then. Tempo, speed. That that that's the power. You just crank it. Then you get down and boogie. These are more my kind of um, yard sales. Look at this sign. What is that? Beer? It's German. It uh, must be a beer sign. It's so cool. Oop! I don't have my earplugs. I think we've gone like 30 miles in one direction, the right direction, and it has been cool so far. We have not been disappointed. Looks, looks like someone made a find. <laughs> how does that fit in there? Seriously, how does that fit in there? <laughs> and at the big intersection where it's all going down. This thing is massive. Look at those chairs. Ah, uh, I definitely have a good feeling about this one. Why? Because it has Santa Claus? Of course. It's like the North Pole. Look. <laughs> Right there, Santa. Not only is there stuff, look at that tree. Wow, it's massive. And the goodness abounds. The fishermen would love to tackle this one. What'd you find? These cold, this cold bins. Cold bins. Cold bins. Uh-oh. See, the one I have is small yeah. for the fireplace, but. So you want another one, I take it. No, no. Uh, how about a milk can? We need a milk can. I'd really love to have one of those. We, we don't have a milk can. But I can't decide which fishing pole I want. Oh my goodness. That could, fishing, fishing, could fishing, fishing, could take a while. It could take a while. Fence of fishing poles. Okay. Now that's cute. Yeah, that, that's cute. Let me guess. Need a light. But it doesn't carry coal. No, it's a watering tank that's been, watering can that's been turned into a... I know, I'm trying, to, I'm, I'm trying to come up with a reason you shouldn't buy that, but you know. It's oh. not working evidently, so. Hmm. No, it is cute. Really good. See, this probably goes with it. It does. The lampshade, metal. That's hot. Or it would be. Just goes on and on. Look at this. This is where Vanessa gets weak. These old chairs that you find it in Florida from the 50s. Luckily, I brought the truck. Or unluckily, I'm not sure. No kidding. I had one like this when I was a kid. How do you remember that? I, I would, no kid, I would turn it upside down and I'd pedal the wheels and for some reason I thought I was selling ice cream. Still don't know how that works. Is that an oven? Yeah, it goes, it sits over top of a stove. Oh, okay. You know, like an old time. Oh, like the wood stoves? Wood stove in the house. Back in the day? Mm. We've seen it on the, somebody that we watch on YouTube. Oh my goodness, look at this camp stove. This has got to be from the 20s or 30s. It is rusted to the max. Look at the handles. They're like, I think they're actually porcelain handles. Got to be a cold one. I don't know if I'd want to take it on, but it's awesome. Welcome to the Isle of Skillets. True cast iron. You know these things. Probably got some flavor to them, actually. Look at this. Actually, it's a picture of an it. That's a picture. Anybody know the year of this phonograph player? It's a metal record. It's Roy Rogers. Oh my goodness. And they're selling this? It's just such a great picture of all these people coming in and all this great stuff like those milkshake makers for sale. Did you see those, huh? Look at this. Milkshake. Yeah. Hamilton Beach. Oh. That takes me back, yes. I remember getting shakes like that. Original croquet set. Yeah, I mean, it's all wood. You can balls. tell. The balls are really, oh wow, those are extremely heavy. Played this game a few times. Never won, but I, you know, played. I played a lot of games in number one. What was that all about? Well, by the way, some bicycles had twin I-beam headlights, like this one. Every kid wanted those lights when they were a kid. When I was a kid, anyway, that's cool. Count the almost two hours it took for us to get to the 127 yard sale. 
Not being full-time YouTubers, we feel pretty good about taking in the 50 or so miles of the over 600 miles it covered. We don't need to buy butter anymore. So it's a churn. We're just, uh, you know, just um, dropping the hint. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and notification bell to follow our adventures and know when we publish a new video. Seriously, how many yard sales do you come across that have a spinning wheel? This is awesome. And these, I think, probably came out of a church. This is probably where the pastor and his wife would have sat, maybe. I think it's crushed velvet. Kind of looks like, you know? Kind of looks like it, but. It's a great set. I'll tell you what. It could go in some Victorian house. Hey, Amen. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and tell your friends about us. And remember, adventure is as close as the next stop friend. Seriously, how does that fit in there?